Hello again. So, I have another prom dress here that I'm working on. But it has this, they call it um, horse hair. It's just a nylon to make it so it won't, um, the dress will not get between your legs while you're walking. And she want me to keep this, so I rip it out. See, I gotta finish ripping this out. But I just want to show you guys. I used the um, seam ripper, and then I just cut the stitches like an inch apart and break the the thread, and then I pull it out from the other side so that way it's easier to come up there all done so now I gonna cut this dress and then put this back on this is gonna be longer because the original hem is uh, wider than the new hem because it I shortened it so I have uh, marked it if you can see the blue designer chalk there or marker I will cut it with my good pair of scissors but I'm cutting it that's uh, actually the final um, length so I will cut it like half an inch below my origin my mark my final uh length mark hope that makes sense to you just cut 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 all this fun stuff And these girls, they don't call until like two days from their prom date. So I had to work fast to get these done. Silly girls. Yeah, if you're not comfortable doing this the way I do it, because you might be, it's like, if you're not used to doing this, you might cut another part of the dress, but you can use the table. I'm just doing this because, so you can see what I'm doing without moving my cell phone as I film it. This looks re really pretty on her. I'm all sparkly now because the sparkle is just falling off my lap. My floor gets messy with all these sparkles. Almost to the end. I try to get all this uh, ham in within thirty minutes. Not spend a lot of time. There you go. Goes in the garbage.
So now we have this. What I'm gonna do is because they have the seam there, they stitch it together. I'm just going to cut it because I know it's gonna be longer than what I want. And then I will overlap it. So. Move that. So you can see it. How did I do my uh, camera earlier? That you can see better. <laughs> this so hopefully you can see it okay here's the seam we'll start on the seam put this over and sew a quarter inch from the very edge hopefully i won't break a needle this time the other one was had a lot of sequins that <laughs> it, it uh, broke the needle can you see me there we go so you don't you don't need to see my face just <laughs> i'm just trying to get you to see what i'm doing here Try not to stretch this um, nylon band. So or horse hair. I don't know why they, they call it horse hair because it's not <laughs> it's not horse hair. It's just a nylon thingy. Just let it uh, lay there easily, not stretching, and not bunching either. Oops. Yeah, if you have a job that um, you are charging for doing it like this, make sure you uh, also consider the time you put in ripping and putting this back on because this is time consuming. You want to get paid for your time. And get paid for what you're worth right <laughs> so make sure you're putting this over the, the outer side of the dress See, we have extra now because um, the hem is not as wide as the original. So we'll just 
cut the extra in and then just overlap it and sew it. There you go. I overlap it like an inch. And now to make it easier, we'll top stitch this first. So the horse hair is under and you sew on top. I'm doing it differently than what it was earlier. They did not uh, sew it on top, they didn't top stitch it. But this is so much easier, so you don't have to deal with a lot of twisting when you sew the other edge to the dress. Because if you don't do this, then it, it will twist a lot on you. can hear my dog but he's barking I have a Pomeranian slow down when you're hitting the the seams because this uh it gets thick Let's see here's another seam just getting in the way So now we're gonna sew the edges to the dress. So instead of sewing from here, um, make sure you start from here and don't include this that way it's flexible. Uh, you can adjust it um, because if you start here, you might uh, make it to uh, overlap that it will pucker or if you make it too wide then you will have uh, extra so let's start from over here Just make it as uh, relaxed as uh, you can, like flat. No stretching or like bunching. I 
the way, the gram grandma of the girl that wears this, she she used to sew, but now she have arthritis that uh, really really hurts her hands and all. Like she can't do it anymore. So she brought it to me. just to play around with it if it start to kind of twist just play around with it until it's flat before you sew <laughs> to the end Yay. that's something to celebrate right So now I'm sewing it so it's flat where the the horse hair meets. Sewing it all together. Yay! It's done. Okay. So now that it's flat, see. I can stick my finger in there. I want to, I want to sew it um, flat here, so it's not gonna be flopping around. So just sew it. Looks nice. See the stitches I put in there? So yeah, it's not twisting. show you the hem so right there looks pretty neat right all right have fun this is jigs at jigs diy <laughs>